Hi, welcome to part two of this tutorial about how to make a website using React. Uh, for this tutorial, we're just going to set up the navigation for our website so that when you click on profile, it'll show something different and when it's home, it'll go, it'll go to your home page. Um, so yeah, super, super easy, hopefully, and let's get started. So at the end of part one, we had something like this that, you know, just had a hero and a title and a navigation bar that didn't actually do anything. So now we're gonna make these links go somewhere. All right, to start, I'm just going to uh, duplicate a terminal here using this button, which will open up a terminal uh, right next to the one that's running npm start right now. And to set up this uh, navigation, I'm going to use an npm package called React Router. It is so hard to get good documentation, but it is so straightforward in my opinion, so simple, so easy to follow. Uh, this is reactrouter.com quick start, and it really just shows a really simple example that makes it super clear what's going on. Uh, so I don't imagine that this tutorial will be that difficult, but I'm just going to copy the npm install React Router DOM uh, installation guide here and just paste that right into my terminal. Okay, finally that's completed. Uh, next I'm going to open up app.js and pretty much import the import statement right here so that we can wrap our entire app in this uh, router component. So I'm just copying this and pasting it over here and I'm putting it, uh, why is this in the way? Okay. Yeah. I'm putting it, uh, above my local imports and right up here along with any library imports is, um, kind of the industry way of doing it. Okay, cool. So now I'm literally just going to copy this documentation and wrap everything in this router component. And notice here that uh, this is actually the browser router being named, renamed as router. And I'll just move everything up here. Okay. So shouldn't see any changes. Uh, this is basically setting up our navigation here. So no matter what, I kind of want, well, I do want my navigation bar showing. So I'm going to move this higher up over here. And then what I'm going to do next is have the switch component, which as it says here, looks through its children roots and renders the first one that matches the current URL. So below this, I'm going to include this switch component. And this is going to kind of see, depending on what path we're at, this is the URL here, it's going to render, uh, whatever it has as its children. So our first route uh, in our application is obviously our home, but as you can see here in the documentation, they list the about and users, and then they make the home page the last one. So I'm going to follow that pattern and actually start out with profile first. And since we haven't really made our profile component yet, I'm just going to put in a, a header one tag that just says welcome. And I'm going to copy this and make our uh, home URL, which uh, will just be localhost slash, and then it'll be nothing after it. It's just the home page. I'm going to move this into here. Okay, so if we go to slash profile, this, this should say welcome. But how do we get to slash profile? Well, we have to add some links to our navigation bar. So let's go ahead and do that. I think this looks good. Do we have anything? We don't use link, so I'm gonna delete that. Save. Everything's looking good. And let's head over to navigation bar where we can actually travel to various parts of our application. So since 
uh, our navigation bar doesn't need anything except the special link component provided by React Router. That's the only thing I'm going to import. So I'm going to copy this entire thing, but I really only need the last one. Link. And I'm just going to wrap home with uh, a link component. And then it has, link has a uh, two property. So this one will go to home. And then, oh, copy, paste, two, profile, and profile. And delete these. And as you can see, it switches back and forth. Super easy. I love this package. <laughs> um, but they're kind of hard to see. So let's add some styling in our CSS file. And I'm just going to make the A tags color of white. There you go. That's it. Super easy. That's how you get navigation for your website. Uh, I'll see you in part three where... I'm actually going to make a login page using Firebase. Thanks for watching. See you in part three. Bye.